But the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Anything you do, you have to able to use in an everyday life. You cannot certainly going out and then think differently because your mind don't hate like that. Okay, so you can't say certainly, oh, I have to think this way. No, you have to think this way regardless. Hey guys, today a legendary martial artist and a world renowned teacher came onto the show. He is none other than Master Wong. Master Wong is a person who coaches high level martial artists around the world to step up their game. He's one of a kind because even though having a tough childhood and having little formal education, he achieved such high levels of success that no one can match. And he has a very, very popular YouTube channel called Master Wong where he uploads every day regarding fighting techniques of all kinds of situations. And his YouTube channel has more than 2.53 million subscribers and with over 280 million views. That's a lot, right? It is because of his, uh, like his style. He, ha he has a new style. And uh, Master Wong uh, always uh, try to help people uh, by coaching them also through mindset, uh, to improve mindset. And um, he has written a book called the event little dragon where he shared his biography and it is very very interesting guys you have to check it out and he is also one of the pioneers on the internet to show, to show that uh, martial arts can be learned online with full effectiveness so i proudly welcome mashong thank you for having me on your show and um as at the moment as you know the global lockdown at the moment in the world so hopefully we can talk a little bit about martial art in uh, uh, helping other people to learn and have a little bit of good positive mindset to overcome this problem at the moment we have over the world master Wang, uh, you have uh, written the book right uh, can you show it to the audience so i've written a book called the event little Triken, and uh, why it's called the event everything in life we have a different kind of event this is one is the event happened in my life when I'm young. So this is the uh, uh, talk about my life story when I'm young and talk about how I will um, become the have the positive mind pet, mindset nowadays. So check it out on that one there. Mashuang, when is the next book is coming out? Okay, so as you know, I have five books. That's why you see the book one. Yeah, five books. Okay, second book, we talk, this one talk about uh, when I'm six year old to 10, uh, 10, 11 year old. And then second book from 10, uh, from 11 year old to 21 year old. That's when you get into high school, get into uh, education, uh, have a uh, girlfriend problem, business problem, money problem, all sort of stuff like that. So how I overcome it. And then the next book, I talking about my, uh, my life. Uh, how I do martial art, what martial art being uh, to helping me to cope with uh, uh, all my uh, training and mindset to the age from um, 25 to 45, okay? And the next book is I talk about business, uh, how to make business online, how to do the stuff on uh, to, to survive and family. Mashong, you have mentioned that you were bullied in that childhood. Can you share uh, the experience like uh, what? Okay then. So uh, as some of you who are read this, you probably know a lot about it and how and why I get bullied. But if you haven't, then let me enlighten you a little bit about it. So uh, me uh, is um, half Chinese. Uh, my family is uh, very strange. We got half Chinese. That's my dad is half Chinese. Uh, my dad is Chinese. My mom is Vietnamese. So I half and half. Okay, so because in Vietnam, in that time, is uh, have the border war with the China and Vietnam, and they have fighting, infighting there. They want to get rid of all the Chinese living in Vietnam uh, to get rid of them. And my dad is one of them. That's why, that's what they call the boat people. And uh, as you look at uh, the refugee in the 70s, it's a called boat people from Vietnam. That's, that's what is it. And because of uh, that time, my dad, and my brother and me is supposed to be go on the boat and left Vietnam. But because we have, can't afford and haven't got enough money, it's not money, it's not, haven't got enough gold because in that time, they're not dealing with money because money is no news. They're dealing with gold. We don't have gold. We sell everything in our house, everything, and try to, uh, to able to gather enough gold to, uh, to get in the seat on the boat. And we won't be able to do that. So my dad and my brother go instead. So I have to stay back in Vietnam. 
when I stay back in Vietnam, uh, the Chinese the, the Chinese live in Vietnam. Uh, uh, they get fully wherever they are. So I'm not just one of them. Every one of them Chinese. Uh, the sort of in in Vietnam, half Chinese, half Vietnamese. They get fully. But because of where I am, they don't have many Chinese people left there. Only my family, and uh, that's it. It's only my family there. Uh, but with the boy, girl is not too bad. Mainly boy. So when you go to school, you get beat up. You don't get educated, and uh, you get bullied everywhere you go. You go out to the street, you get bullied. They want you to get back to your own country. They don't want you to be there. And all sort of things that happen in, in, when I'm young. So yeah, it's uh, interesting. Master Wang, you have also mentioned that uh, you are raising anti-bullying fund. Can you talk about that? Yes. So. Uh, out of this particular book I'm talking about bullying, I have the, the charity called Anti-Bullying for um, helping kids uh, all around the world that have problem with uh, wherever they are. Okay, not just kids, adults as well as kids, they get bullied on all different work of life. So this particular charity we set up at helping uh, kids uh, to overcome uh, the bully by get their mindset in the right place and get themselves more positive by training and get themselves more in line with uh, with the different beliefs they have. You know, some people just don't like the way you think about things. They don't like you because you look different and also like that. So we're helping them to overcome that. And adult get a lot of that as well. Adult you get bully at uh, work. You get bully at uh, family bully. Uh, it's all sort of things. So we try to helping them to strengthen their mind a little bit better and more positive a little bit so they become a more stronger mind, stronger body, and become difficult for people to try to bully you so you understand more better that way. Mashrong, in the book you have mentioned that uh, when you are five, at five age, uh, one old, old man uh, who was a neighbor taught you some techniques to protect yourself. Would you like to share that experience? Yes. So. Um, uh, when I'm uh, when I'm very young uh, in Vietnam, I got a lot of problem. Uh, we uh, have a lot of problems. So the tattoo on my hand uh, about so sort of like because we're very poor. I mean, very very poor. This uh, four months ago, I went to Vietnam. Go back after 45 about 45 years. I haven't been back to Vietnam. After that, I went back to my home place to see what changes. Okay, now it's a lot of changes. So uh, the time when I'm very young, I got all sort of problem at home uh, with my mom because every time I go out, I get beat up and my mom don't like that because, you know, no family like you see your kid go out and get in a fight and go home and mom don't know what's going on. So I get beat up at home when I go home. When they go out, I get beat up as well. So I left home when I'm very, very young because I fight a lot boy then because, because that's what you do. You need to survive. And I left home and uh, stay in uh, outside, uh, in the street. And, uh, and then one is a fishing uh, person, picked me up from there and start to uh, take me in. And he thinking like, I'm, I'm not just homeless, but I thinking I'm orphan, you know, because in that time in Vietnam, a lot of orphan kids, a lot of orphan kids everywhere. So he picked me up and take it to his boat and start to uh, helping me to give me something to eat, uh, to give me the place to stay, to get a roof over my head and so on and so forth. And because of that particular uh, experience, uh, I get to like it a lot, that kind of lifestyle, and live there. And he get to like me because the person, uh, the, uh, the way I am. Then he take me in and helping me and educate me and guide me along at, uh, when I'm very young age. As some of you, uh, you probably know anyway, when you read a book, in the first part of the book, we talk about uh, this particular bit a lot. It's called the purity of your intents focus of your will and the level of your awareness and the quality of your character. And this is what built you as a human being, okay? And that's what is it. And that's what he teach me to understand that. And he's setting a lot of tasks that you have to do in your life because life is all about uh, optical. And you have to go through all the optical to become stronger. And uh, sometimes it's a bad uh, optical, uh, that you need to go through and sometimes it's good optical but in life you don't know so you uh, you got to do what you have to do and in that time when you're young we live in a world like uh, very different to the western we don't ask questions we just got to do what we're told to do and that 
sometimes people are thinking this is going to be a bad thing because you just do what you're doing. You don't ask questions. But sometimes it's a very good thing. At least you're doing it instead of asking too much questions and you're never able to go out and do anything. Yeah. So uh, he teach me a lot about get things uh, happen, make things happen, and get on with things. And that's how I made myself when I came to England to do YouTube and do whatever I'm doing. Even though, like you mentioned, I don't have education. But because I got determined of doing things and, uh, and uh, try to go out there and get things done instead of like asking questions, that's where I get where I am today. Yeah. Yes, Mashwang. Uh, like, we love you so much uh, because of that. And uh, Mashwang, why should one learn how to fight? Okay, so now fighting, it come out in a many, many different form, okay? When you're young, okay, when you're young, uh, you got to remember in fighting is when you're born, before you're born, you're fighting in your mum womb already. They're fighting to survive in there, try to get out. It's not that easy, you know, it's, it's, it's a miracle that you're back here alive, try to fight to get out of the, 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 your mum and then try to live and then after all this virus and everything happened and you started growing up, you're fighting all your life. Regardless, you're fighting, you're in fighting all your life, but you're not physical fighting with anybody else's. But when you're getting older a little bit, when you start to know how to think a little bit, know how to talk, know how to walk, when you go to school, people start to bully you, okay? You're different. You're, you're different you're the, uh, person. You talk different. You have the mind of yourself. You think different. People don't like you, the difference there. So you're fighting, you're fighting now with just somebody that uh, uh, don't like you. Then you're going a little bit in your family. Then you're fighting in a family, family fighting, in fighting uh, on the family, fighting with your mom and dad about uh, things that you shouldn't do, you do. So the, all your life, you are fighting, uh, uh, even though you know it or not, you are fighting. But physical fighting is a different thing. Now in life, you cannot control your, uh, yourself for many things when you're young. You can't control things. If things happen to you, you can't control it. But when you're older, you have choice. You have choice to learn to able to defend yourself. And this is what martial art help you. They help you to build the right mindset and the right um, warrior spirit that bring you to become the better version of yourself. So now, you ask the question, it's important, it's like, uh, why one learn to fight? You don't have to. A lot of people can fight with their mouth by talking and able to understanding the differences, never raise a fist. Some people haven't got that uh, kind of uh, a skill. They like to raise their fist, okay? They fight with their fist, okay? So there are two kind of people there. Some people using their mind, some people using their fist. So depend what you are. If you don't like fighting as physical, okay, then you need to learn how to adapt yourself and learn to using your mind to overcome it by a lot of things you don't need to fight. You can turn away and walk away with it, okay? And that's one thing. Second thing is you cannot help it. You've got no choice, but you have to do what it, you need to do. So in this particular book here, when I'm young, I talk a lot about when I'm very young, I don't know how to fight. I just fight as a, as a natural human being when you're growing up, you're, you just fight because that's what you do. You just fight. You don't learn martial arts when you're young. You don't fight with style. You just fight because you just have to fight out of yourself, uh, out of frustration, out of your anger. It's many ways. You find a way to win because you want to survive, okay? But in martial art, if you're training in martial art, you're learning to uh, fight in a calculator way. You think about it before you're doing it. You've got to think about, is it uh, moral to fight? Is it, do you have the, 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 the chance to hurt somebody? Because we live in a very different world here. If you start to hurt some another human being, you will put into jail, okay? You will put away. So you need to understand how and what to do. Not just about learning martial arts and somebody have a go at you and you start fighting, hitting or hurting somebody, okay? Because why I say that? On a second book, I talk a lot about it. It's one of my students, uh, student, and it's just two of them. They have to live in prison at the moment. Because when I came out, uh, when I came to Vietnam, to England, when I'm learning martial arts, because I got so much anger in me, okay? If the whole world is hate me, wherever I am, I come to England when I'm young, I get bullied when I go to the first day of school. I got kicked out the first day in school. So it's like the whole world is on me. I'm got, 
I got so much hate in everyone and anyone. Anybody give me the birdie look, uh, something like that, I will beat them up, I hurt them, okay? So when I teaching my students that time, that's all I can do. I just got to give them what I know best to them. But because of that, two of my students do life in prison a moment because he do for murder. So as I growing older, that's why I write this book to educate people, I change to let them understanding life is more to it just your fist. You need to learn your brain as well as your fist, what to do and what not to do. So my, to try to be more clever about it, you know? Yes, Mashong. And Mashong, I want to ask you one question. You always say that not all Wing Chun is created equal. What do you mean by that? Okay, so that's not an interesting question. We all not created equal. Everyone is different from everyone else's, okay? What I do is different to what you do, okay? What I do different to another person do. So why not create equal? The whole world is not created equal. So individual is very, very different. You have to use in your own mind and your own uh, the, the, to know what good and what not, okay? Something it may be good for me, but it's not good for you. So you have to understand that. So nothing is out there. All the Wing Chun martial art out there is not created equal. Some of them better, some of them is not. Okay, not everything is good. Same thing with human being. Not every human being is good, and not every human being is bad. So nothing is created equal. So you've got to choose what may sell to you, okay? And that's what come out to be, uh, on my second book, I talk a lot about the master I chose. That master teaching me in a different way. They're teaching me how to understand mind, body, and spirit, okay? Learning to understand when to using the tool and when not to using the tool. Not anything you can do, then you're going to be able to use in what you learn. You have to learn when to use it and when not to use it. Because if you made a mistake and using a wrong tool, you will have big problems. So when we're teaching martial art, uh, as uh, when you do the stuff online with me, I only teaching movement, technique, and everything else. As you go through the coaching, because I do online coaching, then I educate you as a person, okay, bring you to become the better version of you, to make you become different than anyone else's. Because you create not equal as your brother, okay? You not create equal as your friend. You have some unique. Uh, thing about you that some that other person haven't got so they can't compare two things together you understand that and that's what is it so when i say wing not all wing chung created equal is many reasons behind it not just about martial art mind body and spirit as well mushroom uh, even though you were a martial arts expert you always say not to use violence can you say about that okay then so need to understand two things when you don't know anything like when i'm young this is why important to reading what i'm talking about you have to do what you're doing because you don't know anything okay so somebody do something you're going to hit them okay you don't know any better and i carry weapon i carry now i stab people when i in vietnam i i fight people i i do all sort of things because it's no consequence you don't understand what is the consequence is because in the life i live in okay i don't know i can live to tomorrow or not i don't know what happened tomorrow i want to live today Okay, today is the day I'm living, not tomorrow. So I don't matter what happened, what come to me, i dealing with that time then. If I kill somebody, if I hurt somebody, I stop somebody, it doesn't matter. It don't occur to me what happening next. But because of this reason, many people don't understand is the background where you come from. You come from a very different background. But we live in now in a different country, different world, different mindset. Is they have consequences. Okay, they have consequences. So everything you do is have consequence. If you hurt somebody, the law will hurt you, okay? In that time when I'm back home, if I hurt somebody, either their brother, their sister, or somebody come to back to hit me or hurt me, nobody gonna hurt me. That the law don't come in, that the police don't come and pick me up and take me away and put me to prison. They don't, okay? They don't, nothing like that, because it's a very different world we live in. But nowadays, very different. So we have to change the mind to understanding is, even though you're very good at martial art, you know how much power you generate and what, uh, what sort of thing you can do to another human being. And human being is can get killed very easily. A certain part you are attacking, the target of you attacking the body, that can, uh, because of you got to understand, a lot of time people don't train martial art. So if you talk to somebody, boom, drop to the throat, okay? They can't breathe, they're literally dead, 
okay? Somebody talking, boom, to the eyeball like this on the eye here, they can't see, they're blind, okay? And it's a very easily done. And when you're understanding that, you need to know how to use your weapon because this is the weapon you deploy, okay? It's like a gun. If you like that time, you don't know what the difference is, you've got a gun, you shoot anything you want to shoot. But when you know when you shoot somebody in the head, okay? You kill somebody, they're not way up again, they're dead, okay? Then you need to understanding how you use your, your weapon. Because a lot of time, it's not gun kill people, it people kill people. Sometimes it's not martial art hurting people, it's people hurting people in a different way because they don't know any different. They don't know what to do with this thing. When your anger kick into your mind, when everything happened to you, you're getting so annoying. You just do whatever you're doing. You don't have that kind of a, a mind to be able to control you anymore. And that's what I do in Tai Chi and meditation. to really calming the, 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 the animal inside you. That it come out, try to do certain things. So that's what martial art is. You need to understand mind, body and spirit when you understand it you can control it either control it and if you don't go out and do certain thing wrong because i don't want any another one in a jail to lie in prison just like my student you know that's uh, thank you so much for the clear explanation mashram and uh, you have developed the kt3 system right can you right. say to the audience uh, what is kt3 system Okay, then KT3, if you uh, have, uh, did you read one of my book called uh, Vent Changing Everything? Not, not this one, they got another book, the, the one I released early, but I'm gonna update that, it's called uh, The Vent Changing Everything. No? Okay then, so Kung Fu, uh, to KT3 called Kung Fu Tactic Free, free meaning free principle, okay? Mind, body, and spirit, life, uh, the, 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 the surprise, speed, and violent action. So all this thing is built in to the KT3 system. It's designed for the short, quick, deploy movement, fast movement to dealing with things uh, uh, very fast. So I'll give you an example. When you're doing Tai Chi, you're doing Wing Chun, it's a set pattern you have to do, okay? You do a set pattern, you're doing a set technique, you're doing a traditional way, okay? Uh, like Tai Chi, you're doing the form, you do the movement. But in the KT3, you don't have set movement, okay? They are doing the thing it requires right now, okay? So if I'm sitting here and somebody comes with a gun in my uh, uh, house here and try to kill me, I'm not gonna sit there and doing Kung Fu on them, okay? I'm gonna find a very quick, fast thing that I got around me. If I got a knife, I got a knife, I'm gonna throw the knife and I'm dealing with them right away. Or I have, if I've got a gun, I got a gun and shoot them. Or I have to be able to evade and using the maximum force to dealing with their force. So basically, if they come with a fist, okay, I got to come with a knife. If they come with a knife, I have to come with a gun. So basically, you're, you're basically you're overwhelm their, their power, okay? That's what KT3 is. It's a time, place, and a method of attack, okay? Now, if you're already watching um, uh, this, right at the end of the book, I talked to you about that in the end. Time, place, and a method of attack, okay? Now, everything happened in your life is a time, is a timing. Everything happened into your life and happening. Something happened to your life is a timing. If you say you get beat up, it's a timing, okay? If you go in a different place in a different time in a wrong time, that's what happened, okay? If you get beat up at home or you go and get a, a problem at home, it's a timing. Like three o'clock in, uh, in, in the midnight, uh, like late in the morning while you're sleeping, the timing when people come in to attack you because they want to mock you, burgle your house, okay? Place, they're choosing a specific place to attack you. They don't attack you in an open space. They attack you in a very, very confound and places they are chose to attack you. They're choosing the right place to attack you with it, okay? So in your house, they might uh, don't attack you in your living room. They might attack you when you take your garbage outside the door, for instance. You might walk in an alleyway and nobody there. They, appear, they have get attacked there. So you are attacking very differently. And the method of attack, they're using very, very different kind of method, okay? They may be doing verbal method, like talk you into things, and then take you somewhere else's, then they're getting a piece of brick and they hit you around the head with it, okay? The method of attack is very different. If you're in the street, they don't sit there and punch you in the face, okay? They bring the knife out and try to mock you, okay? If you're in a certain places that are dangerous, they get a gun out 
and then try to deal with you then. So the method of attack is very, very different, okay? So time, place, and the method of, fact, of, uh, of attack. Everything happened to you, that's what happened. That's what KT3 designed around the, 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 the training for 21st 10th century to get your mind, body, and spirit together, okay? So you're able to understand and deploy all this method of attack, method and principle. Okay, that's what you're doing. You deploy the method of attack and the principle of attack to the, 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 the world we live in now. Okay, so that's the difference. That's what KT Freed's uh, dealing with mind, body, and spirit, and a way of uh, using it. Awesome, Mashong. Mashong, what is your opinion on Bruce Lee? Uh, Bruce Lee is one of my idol, you know. As you know, Bruce Lee is so much time passed for 40 odd years now, and nobody don't know Bruce Lee, even though they're very young to very old. Nobody don't know him. And he is the one that made, uh, when he came to England, the first thing I ever watched is uh, the, the Bruce Lee film, Enter the Dragon, The Wave of the Dragon, and stuff like that, and see how this person, that Chinese person, something very small, and don't really take no prisoner, don't give, don't care, and, 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 and go out and do whatever he need to do, and he don't want anybody bullying him because of the Chinese uh, in the Western. And that's what helping me to have that kind of mindset to be able to uh, uh, develop what I'm doing and uh, uh, using the method of what he's teaching and to helping people around the world because of that. So he's just not uh, uh, the normal. He's uh, somebody that really, really interesting to learn about the philosophy, the mind, the mindset he had and the teaching skill he got to able to help you through day-to-day -day life, not just a martial art, but day to day life. And they have a very, very interesting uh, philosophy that you have to learn. On my Tai Chi book, I'm releasing sometime next month, have a lot, a lot of Bruce Lee crow inside there to helping you to understand because uh, it's all about the, the, the mindset, all about the principle, you know? Mashwanga, I want to ask you an off topic question. How many martial arts do you know? So, in the martial arts, I do quite a few things. I do in the a weapon training. So, weapon is built in many different kinds of things. Weapon, you got knife, okay? You got stick, okay? And you got a uh, sword, you got all sorts of things. So, I do different weapons for different things. I got uh, some for the Tai Chi, some for modern day. And I got, uh, I doing weapon for modern day stuff, like gun shooting. Uh, I, I do many different things. And also in the martial arts, I doing a uh, KT3 uh, system for combat perspective. I do traditional little bit onto the Wing Chun side. So learning about the principle of the Wing Chun, the traditional side. So you're learning the, the mindset, the method, and the training principle. Then I do Tai Chi. Tai Chi, I do a, little bit of, uh, do a lot of Yang style, the soft movement. And I do the Chen style, the fast little bit movement for combat news. And I also doing the Kung Fu side as well to help you get your body strong. And also doing so like kickboxing, Chinese kickboxing, uh, uh, military um, uh, sand shao, that kind of stuff. So quite a few bits and pieces, but now I only doing a couple bit uh, uh, to help it because when you're getting older, you can't spend time doing many things. So I only doing Tai Chi, doing KT3, and doing fitness training at this present moment. Uh, Wing Chun, Wing Chun, Tai Chi, KT3 aside, and uh, fitness training because that will build into things you do every day. So that way helping you when you're getting older because I'm 50 year old now, I'm not young anymore, you know? Awesome, Mashwang. Mashwang, uh, you say that in a fight, we don't have time to think. What do you mean by that? Okay, then in the, in the, in the situation or combat situation, it's like chaos, okay? When you're dealing with chaos, it's like something happened. When you do the training, you're doing training by two persons. So I punch, <coughs> you block, I block, you punch, okay? You're learning a ribbon, you're learning technique, you're learning a movement, okay? But into the combat side, into real life, it chaos by I arguing with you. Why I arguing with you? Like, what you doing? Why are you walking this way? Why, why, why you step on my feet? Because the argument, it's been argued, your mind don't think about fighting, okay? It's chaos happening. You're dealing with what's in front of you at the moment. There's so many things going on. Now, if you're going, if you're outside, you've got more people, then you've got noise. You've got noise people argue here. You've got car noise. You've got all sort of noise going on around. So you're in a very chaos mindset at the moment, okay? Now, when you're there, you can't say, I do this, I do that. You have to do things, have 
have to do things that come to you naturally, okay? So you can defend quickly and you can respond quickly. So technique and movement is not gonna be able to help you on that situation because you don't remember technique. That's why you have to do drilling. That's what Bruce Lee said. When you're doing, he don't fear no man doing a thousand different kick. He fear the man to one kick the thousand time. Because if I gonna, something happen, go, I turn, I come up, I hit, I move, I defend my head. It's naturally happened for you. So you do that. You can't remember this movement, do that, do that, do that. You don't remember that because it's so, thing, so many things happening. So in the same way that in combat situation in the war, that two person or three person shooting at each other, you can't sit and aim and shoot because you see bullet and, 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 and noise and everything happen everywhere, okay? It's chaos. So you've got to deal with the chaos in a mind, in a, such a way that you've got to deal with it when something happens. So in training, in our training, as you progress uh, into the combat side, we talk a lot about when you understand a technique, then you understand about chaos by talking, argument. Then certainly something attack you, and then you have to respond at once without thinking about what technique you're going to use because you don't know what technique you're going to use. You have to learn all the technique onto you. So when something happens, you just, you just respond. It's like um, you're sitting at home sleeping and something, something happens, you jump up. And when you jump up, you, you're not going to jump up and, and, and hit somebody. You, 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 you don't know because your, your, your system is starting to respond. So, so when you learn things, when you're understanding all these elements, you put it together, that's when you start to respond what, what is good for you. And that's why what I'm saying is not all Wing Chun created ego is because of the situation you create on your day-to-day -day life and you build a Wing Chun onto your system, onto yourself. You respond very different to other people doing it, okay? Because the other person don't have this kind of stress on them before. So because they don't have this kind of thing, they respond very differently to what, how you respond, okay? So that's the difference. That's why in combat, you can't think, you have to feel and you have to move. That's what Bull City said, feel. When you feel it, you got to go into it. You can't say thing about technique because you can't, no time for you to think. Uh, Mashwang, what one should remember while walking in the street? Okay, now this is very interesting. Two things you need to understand. On the event changing everything, the book that I'm talking about, I talk a lot about that kind of thing when you're walking. When you do the walking, two things, like when you go hoodie like us, you don't put the hoodie up like this, and you don't put the earpiece on, okay? Because you cut out all the sound around you. Your head coming down, and when you're walking, don't, head, don't walking with your head down like this, because you need to have a visual eye around you. And it all depends where you are in the world and where you are walking, okay? If you understand the, uh, the, 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 the environment you're in already, if the place you are going to is safe, you can walk it more comfortable. You walk, you can scan, you use your eye, that's what your eye for. That's what the training of the technique doing is use your eye to using to know where the, the punch is, to know your eye, you know what you're looking for. When you're in the street, you're using the same principle by scanning what is out of, on, uh, out of ordinary, out of different, you know? What's the different uh, uh, differences? If you see something different, then no more, you need to be aware. That's what martial arts teach you. Teach you that kind of mindset to understand that. So when you walk walking, if you see something that is, that is weird on one, if you're walking straight and you see something in front of you, like two, three, four, or something there's a stay together or the argument, something, don't go toward them. You go to other sides to walk, okay? And then you gotta make sure you walk, you're giving more room. It's all about space, more room for you. And when you're walking, don't walk with your hand on your pocket because you need your hand out of your pocket because you need to be ready. You don't know what's happening, what's going on. So when you're walking down there, you need to keep an eye everything out and create enough space. If there's something happens, you either run very quickly or you can deploy some form of weapon around. Okay, to able to use. Now, of course, you go into the modern day world, you go to the city place, some city is in a dark alley, or some city in a city, so in a row. So a lot of people are around. When you have a lot of people around, okay, it's, it's not worry about people attacking you. You need to worry about people pop, uh, uh, 
uh, pickpocket, you know, stole your stuff. So the same principle, you need to be aware around you and keep an, hand, an eye around you to use it. So when you learn something, the, the, the thing I talk a lot about in our training that my master wanted to just teach me about, he talked about the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Anything you do, you have to be able to use it in everyday life. You cannot certainly going out and then think differently because your mind don't hate like that, okay? So you can't say certainly, oh, I have to think this way. No, you have to think this way regardless, okay? So you have to plan into yourself from day one. What is it you do at home into safety? In home, when you stay at home, you say, we're teaching, know yourself, know your enemy, know your ability and know your surrounding. If you know yourself, you know what you can and cannot do. So if I'm at home now, it's safe because the wall is behind me. In front of me, I can see nobody can come through my house because I, they need to go through my door first. So the, he is safe, okay? So I, I understand that. But when you're going out, you've got no wall, no nothing around you. Everything is open space and everything can happen. So you need to know your enemy. Who is your enemy out there? Okay, you need to know that. And then you need to know your ability. Ability meaning can you run very fast? Okay, can you get away quickly? Can you defend yourself? Something happened. Okay, can you do what you need to do quickly? Okay, and then know your surrounding. Wherever you go, you need to understand about your surrounding. If you don't understand about your surrounding, something happened, you can't just certainly say, oh shit, I need to do this. It's too late. You can't. You have to be able to build in. So in training, in all this martial art training, that will help to deploy this mindset to help you. Whenever you're going to punch somebody, if very, very unlikely you're going to do that, only thing you are able to hit somebody is uh, environment you're in, argument, okay? More likely the fin, or more likely to go to the bar, more likely to go to the certain place where the two person argue, and then you're getting pissed, and then that's when you use your fist. Most of the time, you're using your surrounding unaware, because that's what helps you to survive. What do you say to the people who say that we can't learn martial arts online? Okay, as you understand now, it's the global uh, isolation at the moment. Now look back into the ancient time. When did, how did we learn anything? Okay, we learn by passing by saying things, talking about things. Okay, they're like Chinese whisper. We talk like that, we pass in like that. Now every time you pass in this kind of information, they get diluted as you go, okay? Now, learning online, again, like I say to you, not all martial art created equals. You need to understand that clearly first. If you understand what not all martial art created equal, then it become easy for you to judge. To judging, to do anything is the, the go back to you, okay? As you need to understand. If you cannot judge by your fin or foe, okay, you are bad at judgment, you can't learn anything because you can't judge a person if they're saying good thing or bad thing. Everything is go on to you, like you as a person, according to your character, the principle of yourself to understand it. When you're understanding all this thing, then you can able to learn of anything and everything, anywhere and everywhere. Learning, it can be learned anywhere. Learn, if you sit there and I talk to you and the quality of your character or the, pre, the, the purity of your intent is not there, you still can't learn from me, even though you're in front of me, even though I hold your hand, your intent is not there, okay? So when your intent is there already, then you can't able to learn anything and anywhere, and this is really matter, what is it, okay? Because you've got enough intelligence to able to know the difference. Online, it's very good because it's the only thing you can see. You can't make a mistake. Whatever you learn, you learn about it. If I'm gonna do that, you just practice that. So you can't make mistake. But when you learn in person, okay, it's a different. Why is it different? Today, I tell you to do this. Tomorrow, because you respond differently, I tell you to hit differently, okay? Next day, you come along, I tell you to do something else, okay? And then day after, I will tell you to do something different. Now, you're confused. You don't know what is it meant to do. Is it this way, that way, this way, that way, this way? Which way, which way? I don't know which way, where, where? You know, you get confused. So when you learn something like this, you need to understand, if you've got enough intelligence to understand, you need to know why you do each thing. 
So online, when you're learning, you're learning a pattern, you're learning a technique, you're learning a skill that you have to spend time to practice because all about you. You don't spend time to play with it. You just, oh, I know this. Yes, but you don't understand it. If you don't understand it, how are you gonna make this thing work, okay? So online is the best platform for you to learn, to understand the principle, the basic, the concept, the idea. Then, when you're understanding that, it's like building a house. You're getting the house in a four of the dimension, in a good places, in everything else you need in the house. You've got windows, they've got doors, they've got roof, they've got everything in there. Then you decorate the house inside the way you want. To decorate the house, like same as learning, you go and visit this person, the master, the student, the instructor, whoever you are following, you, you visit them, then you talk to them, then they start, then certain fine detail, you're not sure, then they guide you along, okay? So if you're clever enough, you can learn anything. You don't need to be with the person, okay? But if you're not that clever enough, and you've got 80% of learning online, the quality, the movement, everything else, then when you meet the person, they can fine tune you to make you become more better than what you got, okay? So that's what is it. Online, it can be learned. Not all martial art online created equal. So need to understand it. Mind, you need to understand it. Body, you need to understand it. And physical. And also, you need to read a little bit about it. So they explain more the principle. It's all to do with principle. Okay, if the principle is in the place, everything else will fall in place because we live in a world of principle. Okay, it's like it's like four wall, the house built four bloody things. Without four things, it's gonna fall off. You know, it's got a good foundation. So you need a good foundation, you need a thing set it up, and that's what is it. And then you can learn things online and you can learn it anywhere. It don't need to be online. People used to learn from the book, and the book even more difficult. You only got a picture. How do you know from this to this? And then you got re, and then you interpret, interpret by yourself uh, what what the difference is. But online, you got a full movement. If you can't bloody practice online, then big problem. Yes, Mashwang, uh, I want to ask you a question. Uh, that when, like, when you are in your teenage, you came to UK, right? And uh, with little formal education, like, how did you uh, become this successful? Okay then, so that's when I talk a lot about deep into my other book about it, is um, life, it go, go down to the basic rule. The rule of learning when you grow up, okay? How determined you are, okay? How resistant, how, how resistant, resistant you are as a person, okay? How, uh, de uh, how um, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? How uh, uh, you got to spend a lot of time practice, okay? You, you, you have to, uh, what what's the word for that? Um, what's the word for that? Discipline. Uh, huh? Discipline. Uh, that's right. You have to spend a lot of discipline on yourself. Okay, you got to have the discipline. With that's what martial are teaching. That's what this book. Uh, one of my master talk a lot about it, discipline. Okay, and have to do it. This is what is it? To get out of your comfort zone and go and get things done. When you do something, you start to learn. You learn as you practice. Even though I don't know how to read right any form of education at all i can able to using editing filming uh, writing book create material online helping people to learn it more easier understand about the basic concept of mind body and spirit all this thing is built into you as a human being when you're born okay nothing i have got that you haven't got you have everything i got that you got but because you didn't in Honda, Newton that, didn't open that, didn't have the discipline to make it happen, didn't go in, go out and do something and made a difference, okay? And that is the problem. The problem is you need to learn to give. This is a lot to do in life before you take. So you need to learn to listen, okay? Listen before you're able to ask questions. Learn to able to go and do something because if you don't do it, how do you know it's good or not, okay? Learn to experience full life. Life is full of experience and you go full to all this experience in your life and then you can able to uh to, to make a difference make some changes because you don't understand the differences and don't go full experience and then your life will fall into the hip of the rubbish because you don't go full experience everything is go full experience okay and when you learn you learn from the experience if you made a mistake here you can improve it there 
Okay, and that's how life is. And how to be successful, you have to be able to learn as you progress. And if you didn't make it here, you need to continue to do it to when you make it. It's no shortcut, okay? If people say, oh, can you ship me? What is it? How can you shortcut? Tell me when you're growing up, when you're born from one year old, can you make, up, make you to become 10 years old straight away? You can't. You have to grow. As you grow, okay, you start to learn. You're learning knowledge. You're learning experience. You're learning wisdom. You're learning things in life as you grow up, okay? And you need this time to grow. As you grow, you become the wiser person, the better person, and that's what is it in life, okay? So that's what is it. That's what you need to do. Is need to have discipline to be able to get somewhere in your life. Mashalong, in the book you have mentioned that you were attacked by a tiger, right? Can you share that experience for our? Okay, life? so uh, when uh, in young, when I uh, uh, in uh, in Vietnam, uh, it's share a lot about in here, so you can know a bit more about it. So a lot of time when you need to understand when you're up the mountain a lot. Now when we go to the mountain. <clears throat> As you uh, read and you understand about it, uh, when I'm talking about it, we go in there to do tasks, game and tasks. And when you go there, a lot of time, we may be some of time, uh, the, the some time when you go there, you may be come back with injured. Sometimes you come back, you not survive. You might be dead when you go there. So we don't know because when we're so young, we don't scare about things. You know, fear to us is just like the myth. What is fear? Because it's no fear to us. It's not like, oh, you jump up the mountain, you're dead. Dead. What the hell is dead? Huh? Because when you're dead, you're dead. You don't know any, any different. So when you see animal, when you see all these things chasing you, it's game, it's fun. So we go through the tactical uh, thing that we're training on the island. And when we get there, we need to do certain tasks. And one task we go in there uh, is uh, 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 underneath is uh, uh, trenches. A lot of trenches because it's a uh, American fight uh, on that time. The Vietnamese create a lot of trenches there, and because of a lot of trenches there in the forest, there's so many things uh, at that place. We go there to re uh, 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 weapon. We we go there looking for some weapon, looking for some explosive, looking for certain we can use to fishing or we can use for ourselves to protect ourselves or take to the boat. And when we come in in there, they call that uh, one is a tiger after after me and. Um, it's just like one is a, I never see one before in my life. I don't know what the hell that is. So what you do, you shit yourself, you run, you're scared, you, you, you run, you, you move. And because you're understanding the, the, the survival, and that's what happened. You move, you run, and then you set them the trap, and that's where they come into the trap. And that's when you are uh, attacking, uh, uh, get them to the trap, and that's where you're able to, to trap them. But this is part of our game when we play. We play a lot of this game. Uh, sometimes we go in the, 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 the forest on purpose, okay? And if we survive, we survive, we not, we not. And sometimes a uh, bigger one, a little bit bigger, uh, the, the tiger, or sometimes got a lot of snipe as well. And we caught them. And sometimes uh, uh, when we get in that, we run, we move, we run in the wrong place, we fall down the wrong places, and we uh, break in our leg and stuff like that. But that's part of your learning and understanding and part of your survival. And what you do when you're coding, uh, when you uh, 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 kill something? What do you do? You eat them. And that's what you do, because that's the only food you got. But nowadays, people just don't, what the hell, why do you do that for? We got no choice. We live in there. If I don't kill some, this kind of stuff, they will kill me, they will eat me, okay? They will eat me. Well, what do you want me to do? I sit there and make friends with them? No, we're going to find the best way possible to trap them and then uh, caught them and then snort them and then eat them. And that's what is it. And I think uh, I look back uh, when I come back in Vietnam last few months ago, I just missing all this time. And I write this book, really, reality is, it's really for me to read for myself, really. I not write it for anybody else to read. I write it for me to read, to remind me as a childhood, uh, to, 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 to know that, uh, the experience, the thing I'm, I'm learning from it. Um, and I just feel so blessed. And because of well-known, I like to, because a lot of people ask me, I like to share with people to understand it. But really and truly, all my book, I read it for myself to read, to go through the journey as like everyone else's, you know? And I tell you, um, I, I, I just love it to be back as a kid again. Nowadays, when you're getting older now, 
you 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 got lost in in many different forms. You know, you got lost in this world. You got lost in family. You got lost in growing. Now I, you're getting older. You got lost in media. You got lost in everything around the world. I just like to be the kid again and go out, do what you do. You don't think about it. No consequence. You go out. You go to swim. You you you're fishing. You don't using normal fishing. You create bomb and then you throw it into the the, the, the the sea and blow it up and you don't know what the hell that is. It's just fun, you know? So yeah, I just love it. Mashavang, what do you say to the people who say that uh, in order to become a good fighter, you have to compete in a ring? Okay, so a lot of things people don't really need, don't understand. Yes, if you want to be a good fighter, you compete in a ring, that's fine. You compete in a ring, you're a ring fighter. Remember, the world we live in, we call the street fight, competition fight. Okay, they're two different things. Street fight, they fight to survive. Okay, they fight to survive. If they're dead, they fight to dead and alive. Ring, you do the certain thing you need to do to win trophy. Okay, now can you do that in the street better in the street? Yes, you can. Okay, can this street fight person do it in the ring? Yes, he can. But reality is no. Because when you train Pacific, you're training a Pacific thing. I, if you're trying to kill and you're trying to survive, that is only one thing into your mind. You want to survive, okay? I tell you, when I'm in young in Vietnam, uh, in UK, when I'm young, if you talk about anybody, ring fire, anything, they come into after me, two seconds, I will kill them. They will die in two seconds. Why? Because I'm not gonna fight you, okay? I will talk to you. I will come into you and then submit you. You start to chop your gut down, get a knife straight to your throat, you're dead. This is the tactical stuff that I use when I'm working at you read food, this, you know, when I'm young, okay, six years old, seven years old, I do a lot of this work when I'm over there. Because we don't, we don't dealing with um, uh, the normal stuff, okay? We're dealing with the survive, we're dealing with how to take people in places and and, and, and able to deal with that. This is a Pacific work, Pacific mindset. Competition training, you learn to attack the hurt, the person and win trophy. It's a completely different kind of work. When you're in the street, you don't think about more than one person. You only think about one person because you, that's what you think about in the ring. In the street, you got to think about not just one person, but everything around you, okay? And every time the technique, the movement is not deployable, into the street. Why? Because in the street, people carry weapon. Because I in Vietnam, I carry weapon. In the UK, when I go out, sometimes I do carry protective weapon with me. Okay. So sometimes when you do the movement, sometimes you put your hand, you grab somebody. You have to remember when you grab someone, you occupy two of your hand, two of your hand occupy. Remember, I still have two of my hand. If I got my weapon here, what happened to my weapon here? I'm gonna stop you. Okay. Because I'm not gonna punch you. It's not gonna hurt you. I will stab you, okay? Now, do we need to nearly carry the knife? No. If you want, if you read more about what I'm talking about on my other book, talking about street fight and survival, you don't need to carry any kind of normal weapon that you know normal knife. You can carry anything as a tactical weapon that you can use in day-to-day -day life. That's what is it called in Tanzania, day-to-day life. And when you're using that, you deploy that. That's what the thinking of all the time. You don't think about doing this, doing that, fight with somebody. You think about survive. So that's a different, okay? Very, very different uh, need to be understand. Mashwang, you always say to hang out with energetic people. What do you mean by that? Okay, so for, for, for people who haven't got enough uh, energy and stuff like that, and have the right mindset, you need to hang out with people who got uh, the, uh, the, the right mindset strong, okay? So people like me, myself, I talk to you. It got enough voice to able to have enough energy to be able to kill you already. Yeah, because it's the way you look, the way you do things. It's got enough anger and movement on there that already understand it. But I always also can talk to you in a very peaceful way. Okay, anger can be project or can be use it inside to able to use it. So when you hang around people, need to hang around people who got enough energy on them to able to helping you to give you some energy because you haven't got any like charging the battery, you know, because your, your, your body haven't got enough battery, you need to plug into me 
to, to drag some uh, my energy to you to create some energy, yeah? So that's what is it? It's like the same thing that old people in, 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 in our country a lot. They like to hang around with uh, a lot of baby kids because that will give them a lot of energy because kids got a lot of energy and old people don't. And I, as you know, in, in India or other countries like Vietnam or China, we love to uh, live like, in a family, like family together, like old people, grand, love to hang around with a kid, like newborn a lot, yeah? Because old people love to hold a newborn because they want to draw the energy from the newborn to them to make them more en energized, okay? Now, that's the spirit side, okay? That's the, the, that's the mindset side, that's the spirit side. Now, people say, you can't track uh, the energy, absorb the energy from the, 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 the people. We are living in a uh, magnetic field of energy, okay? Whatever we do, we have projecting energy, okay, and absorb energy. I'm talking to you now, I'm projecting energy on you, okay, I'm projecting energy, I talk like this, I, I create the energy, I create this kind of energy on you to make you feel, make you like energize, yeah? But I also can talk to you in a very quiet, easy way to balance your energy, okay? So don't need to uh, make you become more crazy, but make you more balanced. But I also talking to you in a, such a way that Drown your energy, like, yeah, you guys, you know, it's not very, you know, it's bad. The world is, you know, I can draw your energy from you because I'm very, I'm, I'm like uh, absorbing the energy for the way I'm saying things. So human being we are, we can project, okay, stay, uh, the, 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 the stable energy or absorbing someone else's energy, okay? And that's what Qigong, Tai Chi, meditation do. Okay, in your side, you got a yoga and meditation. It's the same way of understanding that kind of energy field. And we are living this in energy world. So yeah, it's interesting to hang around people, got energy. Don't hang around people negative, same thing. Negative, hang around people positive. That would make you become more positive person. Mashalong, you say that uh, health is uh, important, than, important than wealth. <laughs> would you like to talk about that? Let me tell you one thing. This is very, very important, okay? Health, health is well internally. Now, look at this situation we're in now. We got so much money. We have so much money, so much gold, so much anything. Where is it? Just sit in a bank somewhere. You got your body here. Now your body got injured. You got virus. You got everything. How can you help in your own body? You can't. Even though all this gold, melted put onto you that still cannot heal you so life only thing you come in this world empty naked nothing at all you will go away from this world empty naked okay only thing you have on you is your body make the most of your body to become strong may of your mind become more stronger as what god give you Make your eye is more clear that you can see people so you know who's good, who bad, and who's the ugly one. And make your nose become more vibrant to smell the bad stuff, to smell the good food, to able to understanding what nature gives you. Let your ear to able to hear the good thing that people say, have the wisdom of hearing the right thing. Let your mouth to say the right stuff and talk to the right people and open your mouth in the right way and able to open it when it needs to be open, not only when you want it to be open. God give you everything on you. God give you everything that you need without any kind of money. And God give you the best body, best mind as possible. And what people do nowadays, they are messing up, they're eating rubbish, they are talking nonsense. They don't see what they need to see. They don't hear what they need to hear. They don't smell what they need to smell. And what God gives you, the nature is perfect. And we have to put this clothes on. And this is blocking all our energy. And we cannot be with the nature anymore. Why is money is not important? Now I tell you, money, it is very important in some case. Money is same like oxygen. You tell me, is it oxygen is important or not? Oxygen is very important. 
with a free second of oxygen, free minute, you will die. Same with money. If we don't have that, you can't buy food to eat, can't buy this to doing thing. You can't talk to you online because they cut you off. But different kind of thinking. Okay, you need to understand that. You do need money to do what you need to do, but you need mind, body, and soul to do more than what you need, what money cannot buy. Is that helping you to answer your question? Yes, Mashwang. And Mashwang, can you give some basic tips to develop a great mindset? Okay, to develop a great mindset is very simple. Make sure you have to eat clean, okay? Because if you are infect your system, this is the system you got, and infected, is it not clean? Then how you can develop the right mindset? You can. So few things you need to learn to understanding, three basic things, oxygen, breathe. You have to breathe clean oxygen because your system needs that. The first thing that come out, that's why on my Tai Chi book I write about, the first breath of birth and the last breath of life. So the first breath of birth before you, when you're born, the first thing you're doing is have the first oxygen. Very important, oxygen need clean oxygen. Go out in the morning, have a walk, have some nice clean oxygen. Second most important thing need to have in your system, cleaning water. Your body is 80% of water, okay? If you are melting your body out, 80% come out with water, okay? And if you need to drink, you drink clean. I mean clean, not just the clean come out from your tap, but clean water, they have uh, good um, antioxidant in there. They've got a, a lot of, uh, 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 what do you call them? Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in my health book and stuff. I'll talk to you more about that one so you understand. So water is the second most important, okay? And after that, then you need some food into your body, okay? Some good quality food, not burger, okay? Not Kentucky, okay? Green, okay? Some more new nutrition into your body. That's what you have there. Soon you have that in your body and training the physical stuff, okay? Then like Tai Chi, like Qi Gong, like meditation, like yoga, then it balance you. Then you can talk about mindset. Without that in line, don't matter what put in here, it come out from here because it's not sink into your system. Then your body is not gonna able to absorb it and use it. Your body will reject everything coming in. That's why come in one year, come out another year. Okay. So positive mindset, it needs to have the foundation. Get the foundation right. Soon you have foundation right, your body will tell you what good, what not. Okay. You know what you need to hear. You know what not need to hear. You know what you need to develop the right thinking and what not need the right thinking because your body will tell you what to do because you're already in line. Okay, with the world we live in, in line with the earth, with the universe, we in line. So when you're in line, thing will come to you naturally. Your body will be able to absorb it. Your mind will be able to understand it. Mashwang, would you like to issue a seven-day challenge to our viewers? Okay, so seven day, very simple. Okay, try to do this seven day. Okay, some of you are going to find this very difficult. Try to do the small thing first. Don't try to do something complicated. If you are drinking a lot of uh, uh, Coca-Cola, tea, coffee, tea is good, okay, green tea is good, coffee, coffee is not say no good. Certain coffee, organic, good quality coffee is okay. Or certain thing like, like soda, drink less. Don't cut down, but drink less, okay? If you drink uh, water or uh, that. And try to intake more water into your system. Okay, so that's first challenge. Try to drink more clean water. How to know how much to drink? Count your body weight, okay? Your body weight, how much your weight, like 72 kilo, like me, times that by 0 0.03, free, okay? That will tell you how many liter. I drink two and a half, three liter a day of water, okay? So try to do small. Don't drink all at once, small, every day. That's the first thing. Second thing you want to do is just do some form of exercise. 
Don't go out there and try to do also an exercise because your body not understand it. I have a training free uh, fitness uh, on my channel, the Master Wong TV, the fitness uh, 21 day for free for people training on fitness. They got all different fitness in there. Try to do small fitness every day, small thing. If you can walk, go for the walk. If you can run, go for a small run. If you can do a little bit exercise, do a little bit. Every day increase a little bit, okay? And the third thing you need to have, changing your eating habit. If you're eating a lot of rubbish, like uh, uh, the food, like uh, frozen food, uh, certain food that, are, that be in container, certain food that are dry food, not good for your health, not got no nutrition, try to eat some green, okay? Something green, something uh, more alive, okay? How do you know a lie if it look green? You see a nature, if it's green, they are alive. If anything brown, they're fucking dead. So anything different colors are dead. So try to eat like that, a little more green. And remember, eating anything, it's just remember to understand this. If you can simulate it, okay, simulate them and eliminate them, then it's good. If you cannot simulate them and eliminate them, then the big problem. Why? Because when you eat the food coming to your body, the system, you can't simulate the energy, you can't use it, okay? And you can't eliminate them, that means you can't shit them out, get rid of them, they will stay in your body, okay? Now that, that's a big problem. And try to keep away with three, uh, uh, four devil, okay? Uh, uh, four white devil. White is uh, white bread, white flour, okay? Sugar, white sugar, salt, and milk, okay? Keep away with them you'll be fine, called four white devil. Just small things like that in your seventh day. Try to do, you can't do all of them, four things, just try to do one thing, okay? And that will helping you to improve your, yourself every day. And that will see the difference on you right away. Master Wang, last question. Uh, where can people connect with you again? Okay, if you want to connect with me, I have a couple things on my channel, on my channel called, uh, put in, put in a, masterwong.tv we have the free tai chi there uh, i'm going to put up for you to learn i'm going to have free wing chung lesson uh it's old but it's uh it's it's free for you to learn you start with somewhere okay they've got a whole course in there the basic training and also the fitness training the four week four week fitness training to helping you to learn so that's what is it in there for free for you to learn in the platform of masterwong.tv Check them out and start learning and connect with me on the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, you will find me, you see me, you put Master Wong, only one Master Wong out there. It's no other Master Wong, it's only one, one and only. And I will be here, motivate you and make you to become the better version of yourself. And that's what we all want to improve and do, to make ourselves to become the better version of us. Okay, and that's what we do, so yes. Mashung, before we go, I want to share to audience how I feel about you. Okay. Actually, I have discovered you in 2013 through your YouTube channel where you uploaded like Wing Chun lessons, a basic one, two, three, four. And from the moment I saw your videos, I thought that it works 100%. And from that moment, I have like purchased all your courses and watched all of the videos, like more than two, 300 videos I have watched. And if you like... Uh, I have, I still have this uh, t-shirt that I bought uh, uh, regarding the course. Oh, cool, cool. Yes, yes. They are the Muslim system. Yes, this one. Sure. And uh, from the downwards, uh, many people in my college also used to like respect me. My self-esteem has gone up 100%. Because uh, when we learn martial arts, it gives us a, like a kind of uh, confidence that uh, many people will understand. And uh, you have become a part of our family and everyone talk about you. So I'm very, very grateful that uh, you do this. No problem. That's what we do in life. We want to inspire people. In life, it's very simple. You come in this world to either help people, inspire them, to make them to become the better version of them, or you put them in a place that miserable, create problem for them, okay? And that's what is it? You, what you want to do in life? You want to help people, get people smile on their face, okay? And uh, 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 helping them to able to uh, get them to feel their journey a lot more better, or you make their life this miserable, you know? So I chose to helping them, even though when I'm young, I get bullied. A lot of people are, are, are like that. And I say, the whole world is like falling to pieces. I hate everybody. But I learned 
in uh, my uh, the, the 30 year old, when I'm 30, I changed a lot to become more uh, mindset because of the master I met, you know, teaching me to think, to make me to become the better version of me. Because what he's trying to teach me to understanding is everything you learn, you need to learn it and make good with it and helping you to become the better version of you to show the world who you really are and made a difference so they can change the other person in the world to helping them to go through the journey on their life. Yeah, and that's what is it. And because of that, that helping me to become who I am today. And that's what we try to do. We try to helping many people, inspire them, to make them to go through their journey a lot more better than what they are. They're not alone. Everybody here together. We all here together, help and work with each other and to able to uh, make a difference in the world. You want to make a difference. That's what we want to do. Guys, uh, buy Master Wong book and uh, buy all the Master Wong courses because uh, you will become like a martial arts expert. I guarantee 100% and watch all of the Master Wong videos. Thank you, Master Wong, for coming to the show. No problem. Surprise to this particular video, wherever they are, surprise to the person, put it up, okay? Surprise them before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy know everything about it and understand all this news and skill and stuff like that. You're going to have a nightmare. So, surprise to this channel here. Uh, subscribe to this BNS. Go, go, great.